Chapter 4-1, classifying triangles. There are two things that a triangle can be classified by. What are they? Two things that you can classify a triangle by. Angles. It's angles, okay? Or sides, okay? So we've got angles and we've got sides. Okay, what are the classifications by angles? Okay, we could have a right triangle. What's another one, Tyler? An obtuse. And last one, Zach. Zach, Max. Why do I say Zach? Max. A left triangle? <laughs> For all of you who are listening at home, you can go ahead and laugh. An acute triangle. That's just a cute little triangle. Okay. So we've got right, obtuse. Okay, now, shh, talk to me about a right triangle. Uh, yes, sir. How many? One. one. Has exactly one 90-degree angle. Can a triangle have two 90-degree angles? No. no, it's physically impossible because that's 180 degrees, and you can't make a triangle with 180 degrees. It's impossible, okay, with just two angles. Excuse me. Obtuse angle or obtuse triangle. Talk to me about it, uh, Maddie. What is over 90 degrees? One angle is over 90, but less than 180. Okay, it can be greater than 90, but less than 180. Okay, how about an acute angle, Kim? Uh, one side is less than 90. Try again. Not one side. One angle is less than 90, but, but greater, than zero. greater than zero. Okay. So sides, now we're going to classify by sides. There are three of them as well. Brock, what's one? Isosceles. I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S. -E -E Isosceles. Learn how to spell it. You will see it tons. Isabella, say again. Scalene. Okay, Josh, one more. That was the one you were going to say. Think of another one. Isosceles, scalene. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Equilateral. Okay. Is that what you were thinking? <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Okay. Isosceles, scalene, and equilateral. Okay, isosceles, classifications, Evan, what are the classifications of an isosceles triangle? Carl? Isn't it like two angles are the same? Not angles. Two sides. Two sides. Is it just two? Mm -hmm. At least two. If you had three sides that were the same... It's equilateral, and it's also isosceles. Okay, so isosceles is at least two sides that are congruent. Scalene. Um, Skylar, scalene. None of the sides are the same. Okay, none of the sides are the same. They're all different. Okay, and Zachary, equilateral. Um, all the sides are the same. All the sides. What's also true about an equilateral triangle? All the angles are the same too. It's all. How do you say that? No. <laughs> how do you? What's the? What, what is it? Equiangular. Okay. So equilateral is all sides are the same. Equiangular is all angles are the same. Okay. So how do we use it? Um. Okay. Classify this triangle by either its angles or sides. 
Okay, classify this triangle by either its angles or sides. All right. Anybody? Zach Thomas, I know you're stretching, but I caught you. That's all right. It's isosceles. I totally agree with that. Anything else? Right. Why? Because it has a right angle. Really? How do you know? That's what, I'm, I'm absolutely glad you said that because everybody else that raised their hand was going to say the exact same thing. Does it have a right angle? No. Does it look like it has a right angle? Yes, but you have to go with what they give you. If they tell you that it has a right angle, they put a little box in it, then it would be a right triangle. But in this case, we can go no further. All we can do is say it's isosceles. Okay? I know that's tough because I look at it and I know it's a right triangle. Because the way I drew it with the shape on the board, it's a right triangle. But if they don't put the little sign on there for you, you cannot make assumptions. Yes, sir. Um, could it be an acute triangle? We don't know. This angle could be 91 degrees. That would make it an obtuse triangle. It could be 89, okay, which would make it acute triangle. We just don't know. We're making assumptions. So we got to know for sure. Okay, equilateral triangle with sides 2x plus 5, 3x minus 3, and 5x minus 19. Go ahead and solve for x, and then tell me what each side is. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 2x plus 5, and I'm going to set it equal to 3x minus 3. Again, some of you may have done different sides. That's okay. And I want you to do different sides because I want to show you that it comes out to be the same each time. Okay. So how do I solve this? <coughs> Variables on both sides, algebra one stuff. Here we go. What do we do? Subtract the 2x from both sides. So I now have 5 equals x minus 3. Last step. Add 3 to both sides. So what does x equal? Eight. Eight. Okay, those of you who set other sides equal to other sides, is that what you got? Yep. yep. Should have. If you didn't, go back and check check the math real quick. Okay, so x is 8. So each side, I'm going to start with this one because it's all positive. 2x is 2 times 8, which is 16, plus 5 is 21. I could go to the other 3. 3 times 8 is 24, minus 3 is still 21. 5 times 8 is 40, minus 19, still 21. Okay, so those are the types of things you'll see. All right, a little over 8 minutes, that's 4-1.